Well, the U.S. has ruled out joining any Israeli counterattack against Iran. This comes as Israel's war cabinet concluded a meeting, reportedly without a decision on what action to take in response to Tehran's first direct attack against the country. Meanwhile, U.N. Secretary General Antony Guterres has called for de-escalation while arguing that the world cannot afford another war in the Middle East. There is more in this report. Iranian President Ibrahim Roisi has cautioned Israel against the reckless retaliation warning it will draw a decisive and much stronger response. This comes after Iran unleashed a barrage of missiles and drones targeting Israel in retaliation for the April 1 strike on its consulate in Damascus. The reportedly killed 13 people, including two senior generals and other members of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps. At least nine Iranian ballistic missiles managed to elude Israel's elaborate air defense system and the fire from allied militaries in the region. As reactions continue to trail Iran's attack, Israel and Iran have accused each other of being the main threat to peace in the Middle East at the UN Security Council. Addressing the emergency meeting, Iran's UN ambassador, Mir, insisted Tehran was exercising its inherent right to self-defense after its unprecedented strikes on Israel. In response, Israel's UN ambassador argued that Iran's action has exposed its true face as the destabilizer of the region and the world. Still on this, the Israeli army says it won't be distracted from its war in Gaza after Iran's unprecedented strikes. Israeli military spokesperson Rear Admiral Daniel Hagari stated this, while explaining that the army's critical mission in Gaza to rescue hostages from the hands of Iran's proxy Hamas. He's also revealed that about 130 people, including the bodies of 34 presumed dead, remain held in Gaza. The spokesman, however, added that Israel is still on high alert and assessing the situation after Iran's attack. Meanwhile, the United Nations has called on Iran and Israel to show restraint with the threat of a full-scale direct conflict between the pair looming over the Middle East. Secretary General Antony Guterres warned the adversaries at an emergency meeting of the UN Security Council on Sunday not to further escalate tension in the region with further attacks following mutual air attacks over the past two weeks. Similarly, French President Emmanuel Macron has called Iran's attack on Israel disproportionate to Israel's strike on Tehran. British Foreign Secretary David Cameron has also urged Israel not to retaliate, saying the focus should remain on a ceasefire in Gaza.